أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تسألوا عن أشياء إن تبد لكم تسؤكم وإن تسألوا عنها حين ينزل القرآن تبد لكم عفى الله عنها والله غفور غفور حليم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي فالحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ثم اما بعد السلام عليكم قران ويكلي today we learn a matter of a matter of ethics and mannerisms uh, adab within the ummah within the muslim uh, uh, lifestyle and something that Allah teaches us that is so commonly ignored and that is Allah says ya ayuha alladhina amanu those of you who claim to have faith those of you who've entered into the faith la tas'alu an ashya'a don't ask about stuff in tubdalakum tasukum if it was manifest on to you if the answer did become obvious to you you wouldn't like it it would be bad on you like you'd feel bad about the answer you got so what happens is i'll tell you a story yeah, i'm and many of you who follow my work online or are familiar with you know the kinds of videos I, I produce or audios or lectures you know that I don't give fatwas I don't talk about fiqh people come and ask me about what's halal and what's haram all the time and I keep telling them you need to go to people that are actually qualified go ask Sheikh Omar Suleiman go ask Abdul Nasser go somebody else don't ask me ask me about Quran hopefully I can answer you or I can try to research the answer for you right but halal and haram is something bigger so somebody comes to me and they ask me this true story I won't tell you what question they had but they said is this XYZ is it haram and I said, mm, I don't know, I can't tell you. No, but what do you think? I was like, I don't think, I just, I can't tell you. You have to ask somebody else. So, um, well, who should I ask? So I pointed to a scholar and she said, well, you, have you asked them this question before? I said, yes, as a matter of fact, I have asked them this question before. And so the lady said, so what did they say to you? So I was like, well, they said it's haram. So like, well, can, do you know any other scholar I can ask? <laughs> In other words, she is going to keep asking people until she found someone who could just legitimize this thing for her, right? I just get somebody tell me there's some difference of opinion and this is halal. That's all I really want. If you can just give me that, I can move on with my life and just do this thing that I want to do. SubhanAllah. Don't ask about stuff if you don't, and if you don't like the answer. Like you're mentally not prepared for one of the two answers. Only ask about things when you are genuinely seeking an answer, not legitimization. You're not looking to make something haram. You're not looking to make something halal. You're genuinely seeking what the right course of action is. So it's not about the question. Two people could be asking exactly the same question. But the attitude with which they come at the question. One person comes and asks, I want to know if this is halal or not. Because if I find out it's not permissible, I won't do it. That's it. That's all I want to know. I have no vested interest. I'm not hung up on this thing. That if this, if you know, if Allah says it's no good for me, if His Messenger says it's no good for me, it's good enough for me. It's no good for me. Another person says, well, I kind of have a feeling that it's haram. It also seems like it would be, but if I can just get somebody to say there's some scholar, some difference of opinion, some, you know, obscure text in some line in some book in some library somewhere that maybe possibly suggests that this could be okay then I can do it, because I can lean on them. That's not you answering a asking a question, that's you looking for a way out for yourself. Allah says, don't engage in this behavior. It doesn't matter what the question is. The, the issue here is of your attitude, subhanAllah. We have to fix our attitudes, the intentions, the motives behind our questions. There's nothing wrong with answering, asking a question. There is something wrong, however, with not accepting the answer if it is not to your your original liking or your original expectation. If we really call this religion Islam, which means to submit, well here's a good test of submission, isn't it? To get an answer you didn't want to hear and actually, actually submit. If you're convinced, obviously that's the other thing, if you're actually convinced that, that the answer is from Islam and the arguments are rooted in, the, in genuine scholarship, it's undeniable that it's XYZ is specifically halal or specifically haram, then you have to go with it. That is what submission means. Submission is not that you negotiate and debate and you know you go back and forth until you wiggle your way out and just do what you wanted to do all along anyway. May Allah Azza wa not make us of the people who ask questions with the wrong intention or with the wrong attitude. And may Allah make us of those who ask questions 
as a way of seeking the right answer and to be, give us the moral strength and the courage to be able to live by those answers. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum everyone. If you benefited from these reminders, please support Quran Weekly by clicking the link below.